Good afternoon, Capricorn, and welcome to your reading for April 2024. Today is March the 10th, and we are going to dive right into your reading. I have already shuffled your cards and clenched your space, so let's go right into what's in store for you. Um, before we start, um, we do have that eclipse that is happening in April. On April the 8th, it's a solar eclipse in Aries, um, which is finishing up the first installment of our eclipse season on the Libra and Aries axis. So that is going to bring some intense energies. We also have Mercury going retrograde on April the 1st. And we also have Jupiter and Uranus going conjunct in Taurus, which is going to bring some expansive and tower-like moments in with regards to everything encompassing what Taurus represents. So money, stability, and anything like that. Okay. So let's go right into your reading. On the bottom of your first deck, we have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords signifies something that's dead down and over with. Okay. You do not survive when there are 10 swords stabbed into your back, okay? This can signify some sort of betrayal as well because the, he's been stabbed in the back. But this is an ending, okay? Something in your life, a relationship, a, a, a work environment, something you've been working on, situation, something in your life is dead, done, and over with. We are at the 10. The 10 is the last card before we get to the court cards and the minor arcana. Okay, so this is something is dead and we're ready to move on to the next level or the next phase. Okay, but if you look here, so this is, doesn't mean that it's anything bad. Okay, because there's always a silver lining when a door closes, another one opens, right? And this is the way that we should look at things. So things don't work out. Perhaps it was the best situation for us at the moment and something better is coming along. If you see here, he's holding the same sort of um, blessing symbol that the Hierophant does, um, uh, displays in his card when he is blessing the two initiate, initiative, initiates in the cathedral or whatever it is, okay? So this, whatever this is that is coming to an end, there is some sort of good that is coming out of it. Okay, it is a blessing in disguise. Okay, and on the bottom of this deck, we have the death card. So yes, the universe is, means what it says and it says what it means. So something definitely in your life is dead, done, and over with. So these cards at the bottom of our deck are the pretty much the foundation of our reading. So we will look into what other cards are coming up for you, Capricorn, and then we can get some more information on what this is all about. Okay, but if you see the sun, I'm looking at the sun right there. The sun comes up the next day and there's and, and life goes on, right? So do not get too stuck up in your grief over whatever it is that is done because that's only going to inhibit on your ability to move forward. Life moves on and we move on to bigger and better things, right? Grab a drink of water here. All right. So our first card we have is the Temperance card. Yes. So the Temperance card can embody. Well, it's a card that is that represents Sagittarius. Okay. And so Sagittarius, uh, and say within this, well, I'm having a lot of trouble speaking today. Um, the temperance card can signify having the ability to alchemize things. So what does alchemize mean? What does alchemy? So it's a hermetic principle. And alchemy can signify having the power to change one thing into another. So a long time ago, um, they were trying to alchemize uh, different stones and, and uh, make things into gold. How can they turn things into gold, right? So, but this can be turning things or situations from something bad into something good because you have the power of your perspective, right? And your vibration, right? Not getting stuck in 
in the in the logistics of what's happening seeing it from the what the bigger picture is okay and like in the death card the sun is coming up in the temperance card two behind the mountains okay so if you see here the sun is coming up behind the pillars of the death card and the pillars you can see on the moon card and they signify um our obstacles that we have to go through in life okay but the sun is coming up over our obstacles and on the temperance card here this the so on the on the moon card too the there's mountains behind those pillars those those ominous pillars and that signifies our goal and this is the path that is on the moon card as well Okay, so we need to stay on our path. We are able to make anything happen in our life and turn any situation from a positive to a negative or a negative to a positive, depending on our frame of mind and our perspective. Okay, he also, or this androgynous angel here, has um, one foot in the water and one foot on land signify he's in tune with his emotions but he is also staying grounded okay um so utilizing your intellect and also your emotions as you are moving forward sagittarius is the philosopher of the zodiac and loves to travel and learn new things so keep that in mind you know trying to philosophize if something has come to an end what is the lesson that is behind everything and what can you learn from this situation okay okay so the next card that we have here is the eight of pentacles the eight of pentacles can signify that perhaps this might have something to do with work Okay, you see here he is building something of quality. He is honing his craft. He is uh, utilizing his skills to create something beautiful. Okay, so this card signifies work. So um, if you, if this is about something, like if this transformation, this death, this something that is, oh, ah, shoot. Whatever it is that is dead, done, and over with, right? Um, this I think is pertaining to something per like re ah, something revolving around your work. I don't know what it is today. Okay, it is the new. We do have a new moon um, in Pisces, so I don't know what's going on. All right, all right. Anyway, so um, transforming and transmuting and alchemizing um, one thing into another, uh, something surrounding your employment or your work or your projects that you're working on, something is coming to an end. You have the ability to alchemize and change the situation inside you. Okay. What's next? And whatever this is, it's going to turn your finances around. Okay. You see here, this is a, a gentleman. He is juggling these two coins. So one way of looking at this card can signify um, in finances fluctuating. So if you had um, like less income um, that this kind can, can signify that there would be an increase or and it can also signify um, be wary of things that you have invested in um, fluctuating um, either up or down depending on so I would look into what you have invested and just make sure that everything is on the right track with regards to that okay this card can also signify juggling too many plates Okay, so um, if you have too many things going on in your life, um, surrounding work, like maybe you have multiple jobs um, to get to make ends meet, you have the ability to change the situation. Um, so maybe thinking outside the box because this card does stress as well that you should, if you're working hard, you should be playing hard too. So make sure to bat and balance, right? You want to make sure that you're balancing out your life. Um, whatever this is talking about, okay? With the temperance card, we have the knight of wands, okay? 
So the Knight of Wands is a, a builder. He's the builder of the tarot. He is a, this is a fire sign card. So the wands are a fire sign and he is, um, he builds things. So he's in this, in this situation, he's built the pyramids here and the Sphinx. And now he's on to another project. He loves starting new things. Okay. Um, but uh, this being a card uh, surrounding fire signs, um, you could you and this card the the knight here he has a lot of in and out energy. Okay, so if this is a person perhaps coming in for you because it is a court card, we do have Sagittarius. So if there's any love here um, that would pertain to that, um, or if this person is your boss or something at work, because. All the other cards here signify work. Um, and so maybe you're also working on a project. Um, but because we have the two of pentacles here, I would make sure that you are finishing anything that you're starting and not take on too many projects at once. Okay. Because he's juggling too many things in his, in his hands. And, um, in order to, 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 to build stuff of quality, you need to focus on what you're working on. Okay. So, make sure that you have the ability to finish what you start and it's going to approve uh, your finances okay um this he also has salamanders on his cloak here which signifies uh, being uh, protected from risk so any new endeavors or new projects that you would be working on to change your situation from perhaps lack to something more substantial and more lucrative, um, I would definitely take that risk. Make sure you think you're, it's not a stupid risk, right? It's a calculated risk that you're taking and you've done your research and everything. Um, but um, whatever it is that you're working on, if you have another project or like a side hustle, I would definitely uh, move forward with that because it's gonna turn your situation around. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles, we have the King of Swords. Yeah, so make sure that you're doing your research with regards to anything that new that you want to take a risk that in with respects to working on something, a new project. Okay, this card can signify someone that you can go to for advice. So someone like an expert in your field or in the field that you are trying to pursue. I would definitely seek out some advice that could help you on your journey. Okay, um, he also has a falcon on his on his wrist, uh, signifying he's very focused. So that goes along with what I said right previously to this is that um, make sure you don't have too many things in your you have the ability to, to put your focus on building something that you can stick to and finish till the end, right? Um, because it, you, the quality of your work will suffer if, if you're if you're not able to focus and your energy will be wasted if you're starting things and not finishing them, right? Um, and this is this card can also be signified by thinking logically, okay? So like I said, make sure you are making that calculated risk, seek out advice with respects to any sort of endeavors that you are not a master in before taking that leap of faith. Okay, but uh, make um, using your intellect and your logic um, is going to prove to be very useful when taking this risk. And last but not least, with the two of pentacles, yeah, this is all about work here. We have the knight of pentacles. Okay, so the knight of pentacles uh, is one of the slowest knights in the deck. Okay, so um, he has trouble getting started. Okay, so we have someone here that likes to that start things and doesn't finish them. And then we have someone here that doesn't get started when he should be getting started. Okay, so what it's telling you here, I think, is that you have the motivation and you have the drive to get things started, but you maybe have been thinking about things a little bit too much. And now is the time to... Um, seek that advice, but you need to start planting these seeds now. Okay. Um, in the normal Rider Waite deck, he has, he's just waiting. These seeds aren't sown and now he, now they're uh, sowing the seeds here. So you need to get moving on this project that you are trying to pursue. And once you will get going, 
you know, you are an earth sign and perhaps you can take, uh, take ownership and take advantage of the opportunity that Jupiter and Uranus conjunct in Taurus is going to be uh, providing us, right? So, um, whatever it is you're working on, whatever project you're working on, it's going to be able to turn your life from one thing into another. You just need to, uh, focus all your energy into, into doing this and, and, and narrow down the scope of what you're working on um, so that you have the ability to focus. Seek out that advice from a, an expert. I hate using that word after these four last four years, but you know what I mean? And plant those seeds so you can reap what you have sown in the near future. Okay? That is all I have for you today, my dear Capricorn. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want a more holistic view as to what is happening in your month of April, don't only just check out your sun, but your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs as well. All right. See you on the flip side. Check you later. Bye. <laughs>